Okay, this is the first key step in making sure that your website can be found by search engines like Google. So if you go to Google and if you type in uh, site colon and then your domain name. So in this case we're putting in site colon hopeorganics.com. And what you'll notice is that it will come up, and in grey here, it will say that you've got about 100, this one says 103 results. Now in Australia, most people search in Google, but in other places around the world, there's all kinds of other search engines that you might search in. So you might want to go and have a look in Yahoo as well, and put in uh, the same search term. And you might want to go to Bing as well, and see how many results are coming up. So this is a relatively new site, so we're getting four results coming up in Bing. In Yahoo you can see that there's five results and in Google we've got 103 results. So basically that shows that the search engines are actually able to find various pages on your website. So that's a good thing, that means that at least the search engines can see your site. Now, there becomes a problem if your site is actually blocked from the search engines and they can't see your site at all. And in that case, if it is blocked, then it won't matter what you do with the next you know, steps in this program because it won't matter how much you do, <laughs> Google and the other search engines still won't be able to find your website. So the key thing is to make sure that it can be found. Um, and I'll show you an example. This is a new website. So we've actually purposely blocked it from Google and that's what web developers um, would normally do when they're developing a website. I don't do web development, but a normal web developer would block it while they're creating the site. So this is a website that is currently being developed and so it's totally blocked from Google. So if we took this uh, URL and if we put site colon and then we put the the name of the website and search for that we'll see that it's got doesn't match any documents so nothing is actually coming up so that means that your site's blocked from Google now if you've had a site that's that's been out there for you know six months and you do this and you see that Google can't even find any of the pages on your website then that's a pretty good indication for why you're not you know, getting traffic or inquiries to your site so if you find that you do a search like this and it comes up showing that you know, nothing can be found, then the first thing that you want to do is contact your web developer and say, and say to them, look, you know, my website seems to be blocked from Google, can you have a look and see you know, what the problem might be? And if you've got a, a WordPress website, there's, there's a little box that web developers will often tick while they're developing the site and in some cases they may have forgotten to untick it. So if you've got the login, say, to your WordPress site and what you need to do is go to settings over here and then go to your reading setting. And when you scroll down you'll see there's a little se section here, search engine visibility. And at the moment, this is ticked to say discourage search engines from indexing this site. So with this website, we want that to be happening because we don't want the site to go live to Google until it's ready. However, if you've had your website out for six months and this box is still ticked, then it means that none of the search engines can find your site. So all you need to do is, is untick that, save it, and that at least tells Google and the search engines that you want them to come and you know, look at your website. If that box is unticked, then another check with a WordPress website is you can go and look at the robots.txt file. And if it says disallow and then it's got a slash like that, that means that the whole website has been, I'll just make that a bit bigger in case you can't see it. So that means that the whole website is blocked from Google. Now with a WordPress website, sometimes it might have um, certain aspects of it that are blocked and that's fine but if the whole site is blocked then obviously it's not coming up. 
in the rare occasion, sometimes you can untick the box. Oh, that's made that very big. Sometimes you can untick the box here. And then when you go um, to here, it still disallows the whole site. And so in that case, you definitely need to get your, your web developer to have a look at it. So when you've unticked the, the box or checked here to see if it's disallowed still or if your web developer assures you that it is able to be found in Google, come to this piece of uh, software or this website called pingomatic.com and it says here to put your blog name and you could put the blog or you can just put your website name so we might put you know, Hope Organics in there and then in the blog homepage, that just means your website homepage. So you could put the Connect Wellbeing homepage in there. You could have uh, Connect Wellbeing as the blog name. So blog or website, I mean, they're really exactly the same thing. It's just a matter of how the site is. A blog is structured slightly different to a website, but technically they're both a website. And... Um, you can put in an RSS URL if you have one of those. And then you just want to check all of these boxes, make sure they're all checked, and then send the pings. And so that tells um, all the spiders to come and you know, check out your website and gives it an opportunity to then be found in Google and the other search engines. So usually by doing this um, and then by using Twitter, you'll f and um, Put the URL in there and say, um, you know, check out my new website or something like that, or check out my website or, or whatever is relevant depending on how long your site has been up for, and then tweet that. And sometimes with, within 24 hours, you'll find that your that, that your website is indexed. So if, probably for 95% of you, you'll be fine. But for that 5% of people where your sites are blocked, this is a critical issue. And if you don't um, fix this, then it's kind of pointless doing all the other steps. Well, you, I suppose you could still do all the other steps while you're waiting for it to be for this to happen. Um, but unless it's unblocked, obviously none of the search engines can find it anyway. So once you've done this, sometimes it can take a couple of days before you'll start to see... Um, over here start to see a couple of you know listings showing up so give it a couple of days sometimes it can happen sort of within 24 hours and what happens is that usually you'll see you know a couple of listings and then a couple of days later you'll have more and more and as time goes by um, you'll just see more and more listings that are that are showing up when you go to site colon and then put in your domain name there Okay, so that was the first key step in making sure that your website can be found in Google and all the other search engines.